Hello again YouTube, you guessed it, this is Mr. Battlescars again, and I am presenting you with a brand new series of videos that you will now be able to find here on my channel, Sweet Battlescars, and that is the unboxing and review of Dragon Ball figures, in this case specifically Dragon Ball Z. And now, Dragon Ball has a special place in my heart. I grew up with the series, um, actually not, not really with the episodes that were released here in North America by Funimation, but uh, mostly the Japanese uh, episodes. Um, I Actually, the first ever Dragon Ball episode that I saw was in Spanish, and ever since I was hooked, and uh, you know, I did see some of the English English episodes, but I, w I was just never drawn to the English episodes too much. So I stuck with the uh, Japanese and subtitles. <laughs> I guess you can say I'm a purist that way. I just really like the uh, Japanese voices and just the uh, the original songs and uh, just everything about the Japanese Dragon Ball Z. Uh, none of those like uh, rock songs that they introduced here in uh, North America. So uh, today I'm happy to unbox uh, an SH Figure Arts. Super Saiyan Vegeta for you and now these are really nice figures I, I've collected some Dragon Ball um, Dragon Ball Z figures in the past and uh, I, I will be showing you some of those though though those will only only be uh, reviews not actual unboxings since I I've already unboxed them years ago so I will show you some of my older figures um, but today I wanted to show you these really awesome uh, figure arts uh, figures that they released um, you know, uh, recently, and um, that's because I've I've never seen Dragon Ball figures this nice in a in a long time. The some of the original figures were uh, you know very fixed pose. You can move the arms and uh, maybe the the head a little bit. They came with uh, several accessories, but nothing uh, much in terms of articulation. Now, as you will see, this figure actually has really nice articulation and uh, has really nice paint and really nice details. Um, so I will be opening and opening this guy and show you what I mean. So um, expect to see more Dragon Ball uh, videos from now on. Uh, this is a new series that I wanted to start. And uh, I will be showing you and talking about several figures that I think are, are really, really awesome. So uh, let's look at this here. And now these are also Japanese. Um, I, I like some of the figures that were released here in North America, but uh, you know it's just some of the plastic, the material, and actually the, the details weren't too. I, were, I wasn't too crazy about, and I know they released a lot, but uh, these figures I really liked uh, once I saw them. So I was recently able to get my hands on a few of them, and so today I will be looking specifically at the awesome, the one and only Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, Oh, this guy's really cool. So, let's look at him. And uh, let me fix the camera a little bit, the angle, so that I can... Uh, sorry, my tripod is kind of tall, but I will, you know, hopefully I'll make the best of it. So, uh, now this is a figure itself. Um, has really nice uh, paint, I think. The colors hold true to the anime, uh, as this is a, an anime version of uh, Vegeta. Uh, the manga version was a slightly different. The colors were always different. I mean, the manga itself was uh, in black and white, but uh, sometimes the uh, the drawings that uh, Akira Toriyama released on Shonen Jump had some color had some colors on them, so you can see some of the colors. Now this guy came with uh, several. I'm gonna be going over the um, different accessories that it came with. It came with two sets of faces that you can uh, sort of. Uh, you know, switch around. Uh, this one, let me show you here. Is he his? Uh, I guess you can say his knobby face. His, um, you know, he has a, like a little, little expression on his face. Typical Vegeta, proud and uh, you know, kind of cocky. So that's the face it came with. And uh, here in the back, it has the attachments. Some of the pegs that attach to the actual uh, head. And uh, here is the other one. And this is his angry face. Of course, also, for those of you who know Dragon Ball, typical Vegeta always getting angry at Kakarot. 
So here we saw, see, we, we see his, I like the details that they add on these. You see a little bit of a, a vein popping out right there. So, uh, really cool. Uh, really nice, uh, paint job. You know, not a lot of, not a lot of like, uh, details per se, but, you know, just w well rounded, uh, sculpt. So really nice sculpt. Um, so really nice. Uh, and then we have, uh, two sets of hands, two extra sets of hands apart from the closed fists, uh, that we see there. And one of them just fell. So we have the, the, uh, I guess the, uh, the palm here, the, 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 the hands that's, uh, that he, uh, sort of uses when blasting his, uh, energy waves at, uh, enemies and Kakarot. He can't get enough of, uh, fighting Kakarot. And, uh, this is the completely open uh, palm when shooting uh, some other attacks. Um, probably his uh, signature attack. There you go. And now let's look at the figure. Um, so I really like uh, the way they sculpted this guy. I really like the how nice the armor is. Uh, we can see a close-up of it here. Uh, really, really clean paint job. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the paint job it's really clean I mean all the lines are super clean uh, there's some nice shading you can see some some shadowing on the on his on his body on the muscles here you can see some shadows um, you know where his muscles are and uh, this is his regular face that it came with just uh, you know an interested angry Vegeta like usual uh so that's the figure now let's go over articulation so uh the head actually sets on the ball joint that you can kind of see there and so you can get a you know, pretty good movement like so you can go all the way around though it's kind of weird when you do i always get creeped out when figures can do that so you know really good movement on the head side to side left and right uh, you can go down that much for his angry pose and then up that much when he's looking up in the air trying to shoot at Kakarot. Um, so pretty good movement on the head. Then we have uh, the arms that also set on a ball joint. So uh, you can go and they kind of come out for the different poses and they kind of lock in and place in the socket there. So um, they move upwards about that much unless you take them out a little bit because the armor gets in the way. So that much, and then down that much, uh, forward, about that much. I don't want to force it. Like I said, that gets in the way. But if you open it a little bit, it actually goes full circle. Now, you can kind of see the joint there popping out. You can actually pop it back in, in place, so that his body doesn't look too weird. When you pop this out, it looks like his arm is kind of falling off. So you can get good movement if you pop that joint out. Then uh, his uh, arm in itself can uh, move like so. Um, and then the elbow is actually a uh, double joint. Double joint elbow. That's pretty nice. Or I guess that's a single joint. It just comes out a little further than usual. So that's a single joint on the elbow. It's a single uh, hinge. And then his hands just spin and they're actually on the ball point. On the ball joint so you can kind of get some movement. But, uh, you know, they spin freely. And then you can uh, switch them out. I'll show you later when we finish um, the articulation. So his waist, he can go full circle, you know, th 360. And then um, his legs are also kind of uh, a little strange. They kind of go up that way. And uh, they also pop out like his arms. They're on a ball joint. So when they're kind of loose like this, you can kind of, uh, you know, go out like that, go forward, backwards pretty far, and, uh, you know, it goes full circle like so. Um, and then you can see the difference here The when the joint pops into his hips and then when they pop out for uh, different poses, I guess. You don't really need to pop them out too much when making, you know, when um, giving them some poses, although... That makes it a lot easier to, uh, you know, pose. So it's definitely a nice detail. 
Uh, now the the knee is a uh, double double joint. You can see there two joints, so it's a nice double hinge joint. Um, and so they 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 bend pretty far back, as you can see, as you can see there. And uh, they move forward, and you see there's a little bit of space there to allow for that movement to happen. Uh, his boots uh, have. Uh, his feet actually have uh, movement on the ankle like so. They move a, they give you a little bit of wiggle, and they go around like so. And then his toes actually are on a hinge joint, so they actually move up a little bit and just straight like that. So pretty good movement for you know some running poses or different poses. So um, I gotta say, in terms of articulation, this is a really nice figure. Um, you know, when I was uh, little growing up, I didn't see really any of the uh, any figures like this for Dragon Ball. Uh, I mean, you saw these kind of figures for other like franchises like Superman and Batman, and they were nice. They had a lot of movement, but Dragon Ball never really got anything like this until recently. Like I said, I'll show you some of the older figures in a video um, that pretty much only allows for movement in the arms. So I gotta say, this is a really awesome figure. So now I'm gonna show you uh, how to switch out the uh, head so it just kind of the face kind of pops out like so and here you can see the uh, locking mechanism it has a big um, square rectangular peg there that goes into that opening there and then you have two circular pegs that go into the uh, hair I guess so you can switch out his normal face for his angry at Kakarot face um, so there we go. You can kind of just push the uh, rectangular peg first and then kind of snap the circular uh, pegs on the top and there you go. Like new. So that's how you switch out his head. And uh, while we're looking at his head, I gotta say the hair, the details on the hair are really nice. Uh, some figures out there have really weird hair. Uh, and you know these guys have really awesome hair. I, I gotta say, uh, you know Dragon Ball as uh, some of the best hair out there, I think, the characters, the Dragon Ball characters. So, v Vegeta's hair has a very specific shape and volume. It's very volumetric. So, some of the shapes have really, really solid volume. And they really capture that in this figure. Uh, these shapes really look uh, like they hold some volume. So, I, I thought that that was really nice. His hair looks really awesome. Uh, you know, the face doesn't look weird like a lot of figures out there. So that's definitely Vegeta's hair. Uh, his signature hairline is all there. Uh, you know, his, uh, uh, his uh, iconic Saiyan armor is all there. So this is Super Saiyan 1, Vegeta, of course. And uh, so let's switch out his hands so I can show you. It's just, and you see the joint there? It's just a ball joint. Uh, and the hands just kind of snaps in there and it's really easy really ex extremely easy to switch uh, no no uh, you don't have no struggle at all so really awesome um, mechanism there for switching uh, hands and so then that gives you you know an awesome opportunity for for posing and there you go it's Vegeta angry at you about to shoot a blast at you so really awesome figure let me get a final pose here for you and then a little bit of zoom so there you go guys that is my unboxing and review of this extremely awesome figure arts uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta figure uh, I gotta say I am extremely happy with this figure. I'm so happy to to finally add it to my Dragon Ball collection. And like I said, uh, I've been a long time of Dragon Ball, uh, a, lo a long time fan of Dragon Ball. Sorry, I forgot to insert that word there. Uh, so I'm extremely proud and happy to have this figure. And uh, I really recommend it. I highly recommend it for anyone out there uh, who really likes Dragon Ball or just wants a really good figure um i mean in terms of figures th this is this is the top of the line you cannot get better than this so uh, really awesome figure really solid joints all around 
uh, nothing is loose or uh, like it's about to fall off everything is solid it's a very solid build so uh, the plastic is extremely it feels very durable it feels like really nice solid plastic so the materials the execution uh, the uh, the mechanisms the locking mechanisms the joint system it's all really really nice and uh, it makes for a really superb figure so look forward to, uh, to other videos of um, that I'm uh, I will be making soon of where where I'll be looking at uh, more of these figures. There are several others. They have a Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Three Goku, and Piccolo and Super Saiyan Trunks. So look forward to those, all of you Dragon Ball fans. And until uh, next time, I will see you later.